Now, is it just me or does coffee taste better when you're drinking out of a mug with your logo on it? What's going on guys? This is John with MTC. Welcome back to my channel and to the new viewers out there. Of course, welcome. Guys, in today's video, I am taking on something that's been pretty popular on Instagram. One of those challenges that are going around with everybody nominating each other. And I was nominated for it, but I did not do it on my Instagram page because I thought I could just create another piece of content for you guys on this YouTube channel. So. Today's video, I am sharing with you guys my top five sneaker rotation right now. And I was nominated by Andy Joe, so big shout out to him. With that said, we're gonna dive straight into it with sneaker number one. So the very first sneaker on this list is in this orange box right here. And I did order the list from the ones that I wear the most out of the top five to the one that I don't wear as much. So this one being number one is the one that I do wear the most and it is the nike joyride and guys if you follow me on instagram you know i took this sneaker on my trip to colorado earlier this year and it's one of the only sneakers that i it, uh, it's actually the only sneaker i brought on that trip and having put a lot of mileage on this i can say it is by far one of the most comfortable sneakers i've ever worn and i know a lot of people aren't a big fan of those beads underneath it because you do feel the beads as you're walking in the shoe but i think it makes it for a really cushiony like soft and also responsive like wear when you're wearing this and walking around or even running so i absolutely love that about it and another reason why it this is my most worn sneaker is the fact that I can slip in and out of them. Like I don't have to untie the laces and it's not a huge hassle putting these shoes on, unlike some of the shoes that I have in my collection, which is why I'm, I gravitate towards this majority of the time when I'm just running out to go get something. And lastly, I think the slim profile of this shoe works really well with like my slimmer like and tapered like sweatpants that I have and the joggers that I have. And I think you need shoes to complement the tape Bird, like taperness, I guess you could say, of those pants. So this one does an extremely good job of that. And it's slim, but it's super, super comfortable on your feet. And I think that's the big reason why this is my number one most worn sneaker in my collection. Jumping into the second sneaker on the list is going to be the Adidas 350 V2 in the cloud white colorway. And the reason like, why this made it to my top five list is very similar to why the Joyrides made it. It's hugely due to the com comfortability of these sneakers. And I think the Adidas Boost is probably the most comfortable sneaker, like cushioning technology that's out there. And I would say these are even more comfortable than the Joyrides. And I know I just went off about how the Joyrides are super comfortable, but the overall wear, I think, the Yeezys have it over the Joyrides, just because how I said the Joyrides have the slimmer profile, which makes it for a tighter fit on top of the foot, when this one definitely has like a looser fitting around the top and the prime knit does give a little bit more. So it's definitely more comfortable on top and it's definitely more breathable than the Joyrides because of the perforations on the side of the, of the shoe. So overall, I think, the wear on the Yeezys are super comfortable, more comfortable than the Joyrides. And I, I know like people with wider feet, they can't wear the Joyrides just because it's a little bit uncomfortable. So this is much more comfortable, but this comes second just because I think I own a lot more slimmer pants and slimmer joggers than the looser ones. So I tend to go with those, but these I do pair up with my like cargos a lot, which looks fantastic. And I think the colorway is so, so versatile and it, it's a really good summer shoe too as, it, as summer's coming up. So this one made it as number two on the rotation. Now coming in at number three, you guys can already tell from the box, it's the Converse and CDG collab. Of course, this is on the Chuck Taylor model and you guys already know how versatile the Chuck Taylor model is. You guys see it everywhere, but I got this in the black colorway just because I thought the black and the red worked really well together. And this shoe just goes what goes so well with a lot of the different outfits that I own. Just because I go from casual outfits to street style outfits a lot of the times, uh, this shoe just can work in both areas and I love styling this in both ways. And just because the color is simple, the color blocking, and just the design is so simple, you know, that's the beautiful thing of, about the Converse. I think it's so easy to style, and that's why it comes in at number three on the list. Now, another reason why it comes in number three on the list is because it is a little bit of a hassle getting it on it. For those of you guys who own Converse's, you guys already know what I mean. I have to unlace them, put my feet in, and lace it back up, and 
I mean, it's, it's a small problem, but it does make it a little bit more of a hassle than the other shoe that I already shown you guys. So that's why this one comes in at number three. Nonetheless, a great, great pair of sneakers. So jumping into the fourth one on this list, I couldn't decide which one to put into the video. So I'm gonna show you guys both. I'm gonna lump it into one category and say a pair of white sneaker. And I'll show you guys this one first, just because you guys probably know what it is already from the box, but it's the Nike Air Force Ones. And the, with the red check through them. And I definitely found myself wearing this a lot more recently than I have before when I first got them. Just because my style has been transitioning more into kind of like the looser fitting clothes, the street style of things. And you know, I just recently picked up the cold box and sweatpants. And I think these, or shoes like this, works really, really well with those type of look or with those type of vibe. And just everybody needs a pair of white Air Force ones and the next one I'm gonna get is definitely the all white ones but there's just been a lot a lot of hype on them and you guys can already tell from that that this would probably make it into a lot of guys like ro sneaker rotation so this definitely made it to mine just because I can wear this with jeans uh, cargos I can wear this with sweatpants even shorts just the option is limitless with the Air Force ones now the other white sneaker that I wanted to show you is from the company Club Monaco very different vibe from the Air Force Ones. This I would say is a little bit more dressier and I always recommend sneakers like this if somebody's looking for something that could, they can dress up but they could also wear it casually. You can't go wrong with sneakers like this. Something very, very minimal just because like I said, I could wear with these with jeans and chinos but I could also wear this with a suit if I wanted to dress down the suit a little bit. So, you know, white pair of sneakers, every guy needs to have it just because it's so versatile it's so needed and it works with so many different outfits whether you're into the street style of things you could go with the air force ones or if you're into more dapper side of things you can go with something like this from club monaco so white pair of sneakers you guys know it had to make the list so it comes in at number four now last but not least coming in at number five on the list is going to be in this box right here and if you call my sneaker picklets video you guys already know what these are and these are the nike sakai ld waffle and guys you guys might think like that's just another pair of white sneakers but i had to include this one just because the uniqueness in design and it stands apart far more than the air force ones and also the Cl club monaco sneakers and i've been rocking these non-stop with like my cold bucks to sweatpants and also my cargo pants i think these go really really well in those in those looks and in those vibes but also the thing is like it's unique in design and it's very different but the colorway wise, it's so minimal. It makes it so versatile. So even if the design's a little bit crazy, I think the colorway kind of balances that so you can wear it a lot more. And that's what I've been doing. And I actually personally love the unique designs of it. The double laces, the double tongues, the double heel, like the soles. I, I absolutely love everything about this shoe. So the only reason why this comes in at number five and not number one per se is because i just recently bought the sneaker and i could i haven't had a chance to like wear them out too much especially with this quarantine thing going on but once that all blows over and into the summer i, I can assure you you'll see a lot a lot of pictures of me in these so Keep an eye out for that, but this is the number five and the very last sneaker in my sneaker rotation. And that's gonna wrap up the video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, in the comment section down below, let me know which shoe is your most worn right now in your collection. I would love to know. And don't forget to drop me a thumbs up down below. It does go a long way for this channel. If you haven't already, definitely click that subscribe button as well and join the YouTube family. Guys, lastly, Go and follow me over on Instagram at MTCMVMT if you haven't already because I am conversing and going back with back and forth with a lot of you guys over there and I absolutely love doing that. So feel free to reach, reach out to me just about anything you guys have in mind. So I uh, love doing that with you guys. And that being said, if you guys watch this video till the very end, of course, I love each and every single one of you. And, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.